kids and cadets and welcome back to Tom and Time. Thanks for coming out. We're looking at a bag full of turds on this Turo Recycler Smart Stow. I bought the whole bag out. That means this thing is a quadruple turd. Just paid $10 for it. Scrapper just drove away. This is fresh off the press. So had it on the trailer. He had it strapped down. I just see no wheels. I said, I'll give you 10. He wasn't complaining about it. He took the 10. Things beat up. Somebody yanked the recoil off of it and broke it. No air filter. No air filter cover. It's the automatic choke. What else? Somebody has spray painted it here at the factory. They put a, another engine number over the imprinted number. I've seen that before. Maybe they were in the middle of production change. But the date code is still there, and it's a 2009. Looks like fifth month, first day of 2009, 2009 on this one. So I had been working on the 2 for 60, which was the Turo Recycler. I was cleaning up the wheels on this and the Craftsman. I did videos on this 2018 here, 2017 there. I've got my cable stash out for the Crafty. We adjusted the cable on a traction control cable on this and it engaged the wheels so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, bearings wheel bearings we had look at my bearings from Bill's place and that's the number 104-8699 I looked in my stash of gas caps and found two that I had ordered from China. The deal is, is there should be a, uh, right there, there should be a rubber O-ring. So I got this one and then another machine that I checked the um, O-ring and it was missing. So two of the machines with the 725s are missing the O-ring. So I vaguely remember seeing a video a while back on a guy that had the same issue and I think he came up with um, O-rings to replace this with. He gave the dimensions and probably you could buy those from China in bulk. But the real uh, number on these if you wanted to get replacements You see the O-ring right there. They probably stretch and fall off. But if you want to buy the whole cap, I'll give you the part number. This was a two-pack. 594061 Briggs and Strat number. Fuel tank cap for the 675 and 725 EXI. Five nine four zero six one. So I've got a block on this O nine Turo. I want to try to start it. Check the oil already; it's overfilled. Tank is dry. Let me show you the underside. I'll move the turds, and then we're going to put a little gas in it and try it. I don't know what the deal is with the wheels, but I do have Turo wheels. I would have to come up with some um, bolts. I may have a rusted out deck. I could steal the bolts off of that and uh, put new wheels on it. I'm looking at the gears. The gears seem to be all flat and not worn out so I don't know what happened 
why they took wheels off and pushed this to the street, the smart stow. Okay, let me deter it. <clears throat> it's got some crushed shell here. That's what we call it in Southwest Florida. They actually um, mine this in different locations and they mix it with um, asphalt or cement. If you see my cement here, it's got crushed shell in it. They take the um, advantage of the abundance of the crushed shell and mix it with cement and asphalt. So let me yank this thing over. I hear a guy yelling across the street. I think he's trying to deliver food. So the other thing is I was pulling on the safety brake cable and it was hard to pull so I just detached the spring. The um, Traction control cable is broken up at the handle. That's in op. So if we go to start this thing and it keeps running, I'm going to have to pull back on the linkage to kill the uh, kill wire. But right now we got an open circuit. So I already know I checked the oil and it was high. Let me give you the model number. I didn't do that. It's the uh, 20339, which I think is what the other one is we're working on over there. Serial 31607472024. Um, country of origin, Mexico. Headquarters, Bloomington, Minnesota. The Toro Corp. No bag with this one. I had kind of peeked under here and looked at the blade. Blade is square, not really worn out. They were chopping the shit out of a field. This is heavy heavy-duty debris. So I don't know, maybe the transmission shot on this thing. Wheel bearings seem fine. I don't see a lot of play in the axle. This thing wants to roll over. Split here in the deck. Gonna have to tack something, put a washer between the two and tack it. And this is this is kind of spinning freely, like no compression. Uh oh. We might have gotten we gotten we got snookered on this one. No resistance at all. Baffle broken back here. Oh well. They snatched the wheels for another machine they had most likely. Because this thing isn't doing much. I just cracked the um, dust guard by putting all the weight on it. It's always something. I got a four by four here just to keep the blade off of the concrete. 
kind of want it hitting the hitting the hitting the block. Let me get rid of the plastic cover. Where's my turds? If it's going to be a shit show, I got to bring the turds back into play. My confidence level just went down the toilet on this. I'm still going to put some gas in it. Not much. I could try starting it on. Um, Carb cleaner. Maybe this will bring me good luck if we try putting real gas in it. Maybe it'll start. That's enough. Got a few parts on it. Maybe the deck. Deck isn't so bad. Deck's in great shape, actually. If I had a rusted out machine, this would be a good candidate to switch engines if it does not fire off. Okay, let's let's go. Yeah. seems to pop and then nothing but it's pulling over way too easy it's got an ngk plug on it you see see the green lettering let's take a look around maybe it needs a head gasket i don't have my Pressure gauge out to look at that. Kind of oily. It's the NGK on here. BP mic. Bravo Papa mic. 8 Yankee. Yep. No compression. Zero compression. Not even a little, a little bit with the finger test. So I'm just looking for a socket. What is this, a half? I just want to see if any of these tighten up. Got a, here we go, small breaker bar. I could dissect this thing. Start there at the bottom. That one was loose. Tight there. What do we want to go over to this side? I'm just doing a cross pattern up here. Down there. Across there, right here. That one was loose, and that one was tight. Could be a valve issue.
may have a stuck valve. Who knows? Or a ring issue. That's too bad. I could do a compression test. And then from there, maybe take the head off. Or a leak down. Still nothing. I didn't feel any difference by tightening up those head bolts. So, unfortunately, this was um, a shit show. Like I said, it was only 10 bucks. If I've got a rusted out unit, I can pull this one off and use the deck. It's just going to be more more work and um, more money. I need to throw two wheels on here. Blade is salvageable. So... Let me pull on it one more time, but I know we're we're gonna have nothing. See it kicked off twice there, but it sounds like sounds like uh, backfiring, or is it leaking through the head? firing through the carburetor. I think it's backfiring through the carb. smell some sort of exhausty smell okay you guys throw me some ideas on this 2009 Toro model 20339 20339 same as this this one I just got in the Sixty dollar deal is a two zero three three nine. Okay. Sorry, guys. I was hoping for better. We didn't get better. They had been tying up the um safety bail bar and the traction control broke there safety brake cable was stiff maybe this will come back to life with a little bit of oil okay bag full of turds on this maybe I'll go grab my gauge and see what this thing does or doesn't do leak down tester maybe is what i should really do do the leak down see where it's hissing out of gasket maybe that's what i'll do next go right to leak down See where it's coming out of the pressure exhaust gasket, head gasket, or through the carburetor. Okay. 2009 Smart Stow. You guys have a good day. Thanks for coming out. Tip your waitress and wait staff. They do an awesome job. Adios, amigos.
no clucking around.